All right, guys. I give you an give you an update on my electric manual charging thing. Okay, guys. So every module, I show you exactly what I'm doing. That's module one, two, and three. They have thirty-three cells each module. So I'm charging milliamp point zero zero four. Right now, the voltage on this module is 6.9, 6.8. It's getting higher. All right, let's check this one. I charged this one for almost three to five days. I would say four, four. So we'll check this one. That's the positive terminal. That's the tester. All right, guys. That's the positive. Plug in positive. And then that's the negative side on this module. As you can see, I got 92.9 volts. So that's my voltage for charging five days. Really slow, guys. So I'll show you in every module. That's the positive and negative. So I got 2.8, three, three volts. On this one the next one I got 2.8 the next one I got 2.7 I got 2.8 let's check I got 2.2.9 three point three volts 2.9 3 volts 2.9 3 2.9 3 volts so pretty much there are there are like average 2 to 3 volts every single cell that takes five days guys because i'm using points point zero zero four that's what i gonna do with the first module first module second and third so on this side let's check the third one because i didn't charge it yet let's check the uh, positive So I got 32 volts here, 32 volts, 32 volts, that's already 32, and then you add this thing here, let's check it out guys, 32 plus 92, that's already 110 guys, let's be careful, let's be careful, so, but I separate each I separate each module so as you can see I remove the connector in each module right here guys so if I put this one 32 and 92 that's already more than 110 volts so I really need to use this uh, special insulating gloves if I connect all of them but right now, this module is only got 6.7 volts. So I'm going to charge maybe another five, 5 days. This one I charge for 5 days. This one 32, 92. And then the total voltage is going to be 330 volts together. And then we put it back underneath. Alright guys, that's my charging tech tech power well, 165 dollar guys the highest i can charge is one one amp so always when you do manual charging so can do the balancer make sure just like nothing you start from the lowest amperage guys that's the amperage and that's the voltage never charge with the high amperage charger that's the dc charger guys dc 
regulated power supply okay that's how you guys and make sure you disconnect the BMS you disconnect the contactor that's the contactor guys contactor I disconnect pretty much the whole thing for safety guys so you don't want I also disconnect this thing here just to separate every cell and I also disconnect this thing so that's what they call manual charging you can also charge every cell but make sure you're gonna watch the voltage because every cell the high high charging you can is 3.7 volts but I rather charge because every cell I got no bad cell on this uh, module same thing with this one there's no bad cell here that this one I need to check all right guys what's up to you bye bye smart car for two